grace, peace, and comfort to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you very much for gathering here this afternoon to, to honor a man who had a big impact in a lot of our lives. Some scripture. He is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For you are with me, the rod and your staff that come with me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm, Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills, and where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved, nor will the one who watches your way fall asleep. Behold, the King of Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you, the Lord is your shade in your right hand. The sun will not strike you by day. Paul in his letter to the Romans, my favorite scripture. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who is raised, who is at the right hand of God. <coughs> resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God, our Brother Gil. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth and ashes to ashes and dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord's face shine on him with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon him with favor and give him peace. Amen. A short prayer. O Lord, support us all the day long in this troubled life, until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in your mercy grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest.
working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom 